Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Marisa Vedra. And I'm Joe Donlin. Your safety and your family's safety. For many of you, it's your number one concern right now, particularly if you ride public transit in Chicago. Other cities have found a way to make you safer, and it comes at the click of a button. So why is that not happening here? That's what CBS 2's Tara Molina set out to find out. She's live for us. And Tara, that technology does already exist in some cities. Marie and Joe, we found examples in Los Angeles and Miami security apps making it easier for passengers to report issues or share information. So we brought this to an expert and asked how it could help here. Safety concern on the CTA need help right now. Your options, according to them, are to get off the train and call 911, find an employee or notify the operator. And those limited options, they don't always work. Here's a tweet from last week. A concern about a man threatening people and a call to 911 since directly notifying the CTA wasn't easy. We found in other cities, there's an app for a situation like this. In Miami, passengers are using the Go Miami Dade Transit app. A spokesperson told me incidents reported on the app go directly to security dispatchers monitoring it 24 seven and they can send the right first responders that way and chat with passengers in real time. In Los Angeles, Metro passengers can file a report or reach security with just a few taps through their transit watch app. A spokesperson called it their way of directly connecting with passengers 24 seven who can remain anonymous and even use this to submit photos of concerns on trains, buses, platforms or stops. Enter transportation expert Joseph Schwederman. I don't think uh, pressing buttons on the train to alert uh, is is nearly as uh, 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 feasible for people in those difficult spots than using an app. He told me he hasn't heard conversations about something like this being implemented in Chicago, but it could help, especially now. And there's already a platform for it. Most riders are using Ventra now. There's different features on it. So they're used to going to a common place for that transit experience. So these kind of add-ons or a complimentary app really would uh, be an easy sell. Telling me technology like this could provide data to help the CTA improve its system too. They can report problem spots. And that can be mapped, that can be evaluated, we can see trends, and that can give the CTA some uh, early warning where problems may be uh, uh, cropping up. So, could we see something like this on the Ventra app or a new app? A CTA spokesperson would only say they're always exploring opportunities and new platforms to connect with customers. We're still waiting for the CTA to address specific questions I first sent to them last week, but you can find more information on what's working in other cities in this story on our website right now. Reporting live in the loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Marie? Thank you so much, Tara.